Good morning. Today is November 20... No, wait. November 5th. Okay? I went and got up this morning and uh, got some concrete and uh, voted. So, November 5th. Don't forget to vote. This video will be way past then by the time you probably see it. Okay? Alright. What we got going on here, Sadie? So, we had steps here steps and we had some complainers saying that the steps were too hard to climb up yada yada yay so we put in this ramp last weekend yes okay so we got this handy dandy ramp and uh, I've been informed that I need to get a rail up as soon as possible so today's Tuesday and I'm gonna try to have the ramp up by Sunday. Sunday will be Xander's second birthday. Uh, having a couple couple folks over for some cake and such. And I need to have a ramp up. So, that's what this video is going to be about. Making a fancy ramp. Okay? So, I'm going to concrete it into the ground. And it's also going to screw to the ramp that way it'll be super secure I'm going to show you what I've got material wise to do this went down to the local gas station and got me a 99 cent energy drink and a biscuit they've got really good biscuits so let's get the day started. I uh, probably won't be able to do too much because I've got to go to work here in a little bit. So anyway, try to get something done. So anyway, like I was saying, I already dug the holes. I got three holes. One, two, three. I'm going to have three upper holes here. So I'm going to take these holes and I'm going to add some rock in the bottom for drainage. That's good. Kind of level it out a little bit. Okay, so I looked up online and got several different answers about the average rail height. I came up with one said no less than 30 inches, no greater than 38. And the other one said no less than 34 inches, no greater than 38. So we're going to go for 35 inch height rail. Okay, and the actual top bar that's going to equate to maybe an inch or so. So I'm going to make these uprights from here, from the ramp up, be 34. So I'm going to have to measure, kind of flatten this little rock out, and then uh, 22. So that's 22 inches plus 35 inches will be my first post, and such and such. Alright, so here is what we are working with. I got all this chain link fence and post and rails for free. So, uh, part of this is going to go on that rail. And then I'll have a couple other projects that I can use some more of. That's what we're going to work with. Free. Thank you. You know who you are for sponsoring this product this video all right now the ideal thing would be to have a band saw but we're out here in the backwoods we don't have all that fancy equipment so we're going to be using the old fancy grinder with the cutting disc on it okay so my measurement came to 
56 inches. Okay, that was overall height that I need for the first pole. Made my mark 56 inches. I'm going to take this tape. I'm going to kind of curl it around to make me a line. Give me a, a guide to cut on. That way it can be fairly straight. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'd like it to be pretty good. Then we're going to safely gloves and glasses. You could use some hearing protection too if you wanted, but slowly take our time and cut on our mark until this comes out. There you have it. First post beam done. All right, folks, here's what we've done. So I cut all my poles, all poles are cut. I marked 34 from the top of the pipe down and put a thing of tape around. That way it'll make it easier. That way I can get this lined up on the ramp with the 34 where I want it. Now then, I've got these brackets made out of flat stock, two holes, and I put it on here about where I'm gonna bolt it to the wood and made a mark on the pole. And then I'm gonna take these off and weld them over on the work table. It'd be real tempting to weld it on here, but that might catch that board on fire, so I'm not gonna do ruin all that hard work. All right, so I've got our handy dandy Harbor Freight flux core welder. I'm gonna weld the bead. I line this up just by eyesight. I'm gonna weld a bead on both sides. All right, so I had a help, little help with this next stage. Um, got my marks here. This is where my 34 is. Same as on, on all the other ones. So Stephanie held these straight and on that mark while I screwed these, lag bolted these into the deck. And leveled them up this way too so next is concrete throw some concrete in those holes and we will let that set overnight and tomorrow morning come in and at least get me a top rail in tomorrow's sunday that's when the party xander's birthday party is so get that top rail on so this ramp will be safer all right everybody it's sunday morning day of the party so i gotta get this rail done today at least the top rail on so yesterday i got the poles concreted in that is done should be solid enough to work on all right so we are going to do that next this video is probably going to end up being long because this is kind of a long project i guess um it may get split up into two parts. We'll find out. Stay posted. Today, yes. So I got to uh, wait for this truck. <laughs> I have tube notch. I don't have a tube notcher, so I'm gonna have to manually notch these with the grinder. Slow, uh, slightly put a U shape in there so the rail will 
fit in there naturally. Uh, the rail, the top rail, I'm going to have a little bit longer. It's going to have overhang until I, we may tie the, may do a rail across the whole thing. So if I have to tie into it, I'll have it there. Here we are the next so I notched these out with the grinder see if we can get in there it's a little dark looking on the camera but as you can tell I had to notch deeper on one side than on the other because this is at an angle so keep that in mind uh, it wasn't too bad it's pretty good pretty tight gap for welding so we're gonna Tack her in, double check her. Like I said, I have a lot of overhang over here and I've got some overhang over there. Just to make sure I've got enough in there. We'll cut off what's necessary. Right here may tie into another rail sometime. And I wanted to have extra on there. Didn't want to shortchange myself. This hair will probably get chopped a little bit closer. So, time to weld her up. Folks, I went and got fancy. Okay, this has been the plan the whole time, but so I welded this solid bar in in the middle of the rail. There'll be another one from here to over there. Welded this solid in, cut it, cut it, shaved it a little bit to contour to this fancy wheel. Now we're gonna weld her in. Alright folks, so that's the gist of the ramp. We are done for the day, done for the project with the exception of painting it. The party's going to be in about an hour or so so I'm not gonna bother painting it we'll paint it another day tomorrow the rest of the week supposed to be kind of cold so too cold for painting so next time it warms up we'll stain and paint this section of the deck thank you for watching tomorrow is Monday Veterans Day so happy Veterans Day and thank you for all who are serving currently serving and served in the past. Thank you.